Hi guys, welcome back. Welcome to our FICO series. So today we are going to learn how to create cost center master data. So far already we have completed our uh, GL master data. So if you have not checked that one, you can go through that particular video. Next, we are going to create the cost center master data so that we can post the required transactions. Now let's understand why cost center is important and how to create it. I will show you how to create a cost center from on-premise as well as the Fiori because in both environment we are using. Let me explain the concept of cost center. So cost center is our one, one of the organization unit within our controlling module or CO module where we are going to record all the cost or costs are collected. Examples, you can say all your departments, whether it is IT, HR, sales, finance, uh, all this uh, production, these are different uh, departments. So these departments are nothing but your cost center. So the cost center is, we, we can say it is going to help uh, for our cost moni monitoring, budgeting, reporting, and cost of production calculation. So it is also one of our cost object. So always cost center is part of your controlling area. So directly it is not part of controlling area. So cost center, we are going to keep it under the standard hierarchy, right? So if we'll see the structure, so you can see in top, I have created a cost center standard hierarchy, which will be there under your controlling area. So under controlling area, we are going to have a cost center standard hierarchy. After that, uh, here I have created uh, two, two sides, you, uh, two box you can see. So this is nothing but your cost center group. So these are our cost center group because cost center is different and cost center group is different. So we are going to create cost center group. In our example, uh, I, I will take two groups here. One group is production, another one is admin and other. Let's uh, take some or let's, you can number them. You can take some alphabet. So I'm going to take here the number is, let's say uh, 2000. So let me take here the cost center group related to production is 2000 and uh, this group I will take 3000. If you want, you can take also alphabet. Under this cost center group, as per our business process, so I will take this cost center. This is our cost center. This one is uh, bakery is our cost center and uh, I will take this one as two triple zero one. So group I have created for, for production 2000. So in this way I have taken here 2000, two triple zero one. Under admin and other group, we are going to take here two cost centers, utility and uh, HR and admin. So we'll see what is the use of this cost center because utility department, whatever the, uh, like uh, uh, anything, let's say rent, electricity, internet, gas, all this type of cost, we are going to initially record with the utility department. Then in month end, we need to transfer to the production cost center. So this one I'm going to take, let's say three triple zero one and, uh, HR admin, I will take 3002. So far, this is the structure, okay? And I will show you how to create a cost center from on-premises as well as Fiori. But uh, as per this structure, all the cost centers need to be created. So when you are practice, practice and if you are following this business process, accordingly, you need to create the required cost centers because once we'll post the transactions and we will continue with the business process, all these cost centers are required. And in future, if any more cost center will be required, then I will add in this list too. Now we will create the cost center from on-premises. Now let me show you the cost center standard hierarchy, which is under our controlling area is available so we will go to controlling and uh, here you can see the cost center accounting this is also one of the sub module you may consider under your co module then we will check your master data and here you will find the standard hierarchy so this standard hierarchy i have uh, they are under my controlling area so this one i have created as a hundred under our controlling area settings so this is our cost center standard hierarchy now this one if you are going to match with this example or this image, then this part is my cost center standard, the top one. Then under this cost center standard, I'm going to create the required cost centers. So in our example, two cost centers groups are required. So one group is related to production, another group is related to admin and other. So I'm going to create the cost center group. Transaction code, maybe you can use or you can use the navigation. Uh, case H1, the transaction co code here. And through navigation, case cost center group, then go to create so case h1 okay so as for example we will continue so one group is 1000 and this one we will take as our production means production cost center and what we are producing here it's bakery business so we are producing cakes uh, then pastries and uh, you your some snacks like this our products will be there so far products i have no design just it is a production unit then save it then after that, uh, we will create another group. This, that will be 2000. So this will be our HR and 
admin cost center okay so that also i'm going to save and these two cost center should be part of my standard hierarchy so go to case to edit case h2 so change case h2 and our standard hierarchy we have created a hundred So this is my standard hierarchy and under that I want to add the lower level. So lower level will be one group 1000 and uh, same level another group will be there not lower level same level. So that will be 2000 save. So with this we have created the required cost center group check again. So this will be our cost center groups created under the standard hierarchy two groups are there now let me create one cost center let's say that is production so to create the cost center you can use the transaction code ks01 which is available here under the same cost center accounting so go to cost center cost center ks01 so as for our example i will take here the number as 1001 and always you will find any cost object which is, which will be used in a long run means for multiple times we are going to use maybe in multiple months we are going to use multiple year we are going to use it is known as your long living cost object because this type of departments we are not just going to create for 15 days or one month right so it is long living object so what is the validity period you think you can use that so i will take that is first april 2025 and end we have not it de defined it so that's why i will take the infinity so from 1st april 2025 to infinity and the name take the name here so this will be our bakery unit or uh, production call center so bakery okay and production so like this i have given some description so this is short description then uh, person responsible the department in charge anything you can say just i have mentioned here abc then you can specify your cost center categories so whether it is related to production service whatever you think so it is production so i will specify that one it is part of which group that you can specify it is part of our production group so that also i have maintained if you want to link business area then that also you can maintain click here if uh, business area we have created under our fi settings so i want to take the business area as unit one then currency reporting currency that i will maintain here inr and profit center so if you are working on the profit center accounting then profit center has to be linked with your cost center so this one is related to product and uh, here a couple of profit centers are there under con this controlling area like uh, cakes and pastry one profit center cookies and biscuit one profit center this one is related to means in this production we are going to prepare our cakes and pastry so we should have another production unit related to our biscuit also that's why i said that once we'll continue then later if required we will add more cost center too so i have assigned the profit center so cost center created and to create the cost center the transaction code is ks01 to edit the cost center ks02 and to display the cost center ks03 if you want to see it it's available now what is the purpose of this cost center all type of production related cost we are going to record here or we will allocate to here so now you will later once i will move or i will continue further you will get the difference between the recording of a cost and allocation of a cost cost but this cost center will be used for our production means during cost calculation this cost center directly involvement will be there right and uh, we will not use this cost center for fi posting it is possible but in my example i will not take so for that purpose let me create another cost center like uh, this cost center i have created from on premise i will create the next cost center from fiori so if you have access to fiori this is our cloud platform here we are going to use particular application and we will create the cost center just like we have created gl from both on premises and fiori similarly we are also going to create a cost center from here also and anything if we have created through on-premises if it is hybrid system that also we can access from here okay so uh, here t code is not applicable so you have to search with the application so the application will be manage cost center if you don't know exactly just type something similar you will get it so manage cost center here it is manage cost centers and for this controlling area already one cost center created so that also we can search here so we have two platforms two systems which we can access just now i have created this cost center it is 
available here now if you want to create one more cost center in this list so go to create and create the next cost center i think i did a mistake while creating i have given the cost center as 1001 it's okay so as i have created let me correct in the structure so let me take this one as uh, 1000 as my uh, uh, group uh, group i don't remember whatever i have created let's continue as it is so this one whatever i have created i will keep the same so this will be 1001 and uh, the group i have created let me just quickly verify the group whatever i have created so group is uh, production group so group is production perfect so 1000 so instead of 2000 1000 so just make a correction here okay uh, from fiori okay and uh, here i will take as per my example i'm taking the cost center uh, this one i'm going to take let's say utility 2001 so i will take here the cost center that is 2001 controlling area under this controlling area we are going to create the cost center 2001 okay and what we will take here the name so this will be our utility department so cost center will be utility department and same we will take as description person responsible take something your your wish anything this one is one mandatory field cost center category again this is not production cost center so this one is our utility so it is service cost center so accordingly i will select here then validity so this one also i am going to take validity from 1st april 2025 to infinity okay and uh, then other things it will be part of our which group this is under hr and admin under that group company code is our a hundred okay then currency uh, inr if you want you can change anything so as we define freely defined currency so, but i will keep inr then business area this is related to unit two profit center this profit center again also i will take the same cakes and pastries profit center profit center is used for profitability analysis point of view whereas cost center we are going to record the cost so again once we'll post the transaction we'll do the required comparison right now we are just creating the cost center master data that's it now create it so our second cost center we have created from fury so now we have so far two cost centers are there but when you will practice create proper as per this diagram as we are following this particular business process now this cost center also we can access from uh, you can see two created one triple zero one two triple zero one so it is one i created from on premises that is one triple zero one i can access from fury second one i have created from fury that also i can get from the on premises also if you want to see that under this controlling area how many cost centers i have created all cost centers so we have two cost centers are there which we will use later related to our posting of various transactions so one is related to production this is cost center category if that is related to production and another one is related to service so we have created two cost centers integration point of view will uh, see the, what is the use of cost center when the transactions will be posted like your fi postings expense automatically flow to the uh, assigned cost center although so far we have not assigned so we, there is one option is there manually we can assign the cost center but we will assign it properly and uh, activities also will be used with the cost center once we'll proceed further you will get the idea orders also internal orders assign assessments those things also we are going to use with the cost center right so once we'll take the in next uh, video i will add a business process and as per that business process we are going to record the transactions